hi all welcome to my channel in today's video we're gonna look into another um, video of the quantitative analysis so today we will be um, doing analysis uh, between the chemical companies uh, which is Arti Industries Limited versus Gujarat Fluorochemicals Limited so these two are uh, chemical manufacturing companies so we will get in and see um, the analysis of these two stocks and uh, we'll see who wins at the end and um, what is the sales growth the profit growth and um, the very important parameters to be noted before uh, buying a stock so let's get started So as I told you all, I would be, uh, you know, speaking about uh, RT Industries and Gujarat Fluorochemicals. So we're going to uh, do the quantitative analysis on these two stocks. So I will be telling you all the parameters. So these are the basic parameters to be noted before and, you know, thinking of buying a stock. And make sure you all uh, do this analysis in the um stocks which belongs to the same sectors check for the industry PE so if the industry PE is same and it, which means the stock belongs to the same sector so here we are, we are going to talk about the chemical sector so before we get into the analysis of this um, stocks so I will just brief you about Arti Industries and uh, Gujarat Fluorochemicals so Arti Industries is an Indian company headquartered in Mumbai which was started in the year 1975 um, so this is a very old company which is into the manufacturing of um, chemicals, agrochemicals, pharmaceuticals and uh, rubber chemicals etc and coming to Gujarat Fluorochemicals so uh, this is a subsidy of uh, Inox Leasing and Finance Limited. So, Inox Leasing and Finance, um, you know, Limited has many subsidies. In that one is this Gujarat Fluorochemicals Limited. Um, so, we all know Inox uh, Leisure, right? So, uh, it is part of this company itself which was started in the year 1987 so we'll um, start off with the parameters to be noted before buying a stock and start comparing so I will only tell you all the parameters and uh, what is it for RT Industries and how much is it for uh, Gujarat Flora Chemicals if at all you all want to know the detailed um, you know meaning of what is uh, the parameters given here I will link the video uh, my first video on the quantitative analysis where I have explained you all uh, regarding each parameter so you all can check out that video so first one to be noted is PE the RT Industries PE is 33.44 whereas uh, Gujarat Fluorochemicals PE is 8.86 I would have told you all that if the PE is less the stock is good um, it is there's no place for the stock to grow but it is not that all the stocks which PE is less is a very good company so we have to check out for the other parameters also I will tell you all why I have given PE um, RT Industries 2 stars here even though the PE is more when compared to the PE of Gujarat, Gujarat Fluorochemicals. Next one is ROCE which is written on Capital Employed. Um, for RT Industries it is 16.30 whereas for Gujarat Fluorochemicals it is 7.94. So obviously the ROCE of RT is more so it gets 2 stars. ROE which is written on equity so for RT industry it is uh, 22.40 whereas for Gujarat Fluorochemicals it is 5.60 so here also RT wins so it gets 2 stars next is sales growth for 3 years so RT industry sales growth is 9% whereas for uh, Gujarat Fluorochemicals it is minus 9% so the sales growth is good in RT industries so it gets two stars and uh, next is profit growth for three years 
So Aarti Industries profit growth is 19.58 for three years, whereas uh, the Gujarat Fluorochemicals profit is minus 13 percentage. So here uh, also Aarti's uh, profit growth is good and is positive when compared to Gujarat Fluorochemicals, which is a negative. So Aarti gets two stars here. EPS, which is earning per share. For RT Industries, it is uh, 57, whereas for Gujarat Fluorochemicals, it is 122. So it is more here. So it, Gujarat Fluorochemicals gets two stars. Next is Promoter Holding. So RT Industries Promoter Holding is 49.21 percentage, whereas Gujarat Fluorochemicals Promoter Holding is 68.33. So I've always told you all to check for the Promoter Holding. So as much as high as the Promoter Holding is, company is too good. So here um, Gujarat Fluorochemical wins because uh, its Promoter Holding is more when compared to RT Industries. So we give two stars to Gujarat Fluorochemicals. Next is NBFC and mutual fund investment. Uh, in RT Industries, it is 15.01 percentage, whereas in Gujarat Fluorochemicals, it is only 4.44. So here RT wins because the investment of NBFC and mutual funds are more. Next is foreign institutions investors. Um, so for RT it is 7.43 whereas for Gujarat Fluorochemicals it is only 4.71 so RT Industries is more when compared to Gujarat so RT wins here so we give it 2 stars next is debt to equity and debt to equity um, RT Industries debt to equity is more when compared to Gujarat Fluorochemicals debt to equity because RT Industries is 0.78 whereas for Gujarat Fluorochemicals it is only 0.31 so in this two comparison Gujarat Fluorochemical wins because the debt to equity is less which means the debt of the company um, you know towards the shares is less so uh, we give two stars to Gujarat Fluorochemicals and one to RT Industries so total um, stars and we'll see who wins here so RT Industries gets 17 stars whereas um, Gujarat Fluorochemicals gets 13 stars so you all can see uh, which wins here so it is RT Industries which wins here and um, you know RT Industries I have been noting this stock from a long time and I had made a um, wealth creating stock in my personal choice as RT Industries long back so um, you can check out uh, what was the trading price at that time and what is the trading price now this is in its 52 week high um, the stock is going high and is performing good and uh, as i told you all i had given um, two stars for the pe when it was more because um, like other factors like roce roe and uh, mutual fund investment or foreign institutional investments all these are more so i had um, you know given uh, two stars for the pe of rt industries and one for gujarat fluorochemical so this is the comparison of these two companies so and uh, if at all you all want to know detailed meanings and how it is calculated or uh, the like the parameters you can check out the video which i will be linking it in the end um uh, you know to know the more detailed about what is what and how it is calculated and everything so um, uh, here my favorite is arthi industries even i am uh, invested in this company so if at all you all want to invest in any uh, you know in these two stocks please do your research and then start investing as this is not a stock recommendation from my side uh, i just wanted to let you all know uh, how it performs uh, when comparing two stocks from the same sector because uh, these are the things to be noted before we uh, start investing so as I always say, start thinking and happy investing. Thank you for watching the video and do not forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so that you get notified as we upload a new video. All the information provided in this channel is only for general guidance and educational purpose. Don't consider this as a recommendation from our side. Please do your own research or seek a financial advisor prior to investing. You can follow us even on Facebook and Twitter.
थैंक यू